What's up SEO pros, welcome back. Chase Feiner here and today we're gonna be talking about why your website isn't ranking number one on Google, coming up. All right, so I thought we could do something a little bit different today and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going through different websites uh, on Google. We'll just, do we'll just do audits on random websites and we'll look and see why some of these websites aren't ranking for their main keywords. Now, if you're new here and you wanna follow along, I encourage you to go to shineranker.com. It's the tool that we've been building to automate a lot of our audits and keyword research. And you can go and grab a 10 day free trial, again, just by going to shineranker.com and clicking on this button. Or if you'd like, you can go grab the Christmas special, which in this special, you'll be able to get access to my private support group on Facebook, where you can ask questions and get help with your SEO projects. You'll get access to all of my step-by-step -step courses, over 200 hours of video going through different subjects such as beginner to advanced SEO, national SEO, local SEO, and you'll also be able to get unlimited access and projects in our ShineRanker tool. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by going and Googling a local keyword, and what I mean by local is something with a location in the phrase. So for instance, acupuncture, and then a town like uh, Santa Barbara, this is the town that I'm in, now, the reason why we wanna do local is because I've found that when you're trying to make money and you're starting out with uh, SEO, it's better to start with local keywords because you're competing with less people. If you're going to be doing national or e-commerce or affiliate, the competition is a lot higher because there's more people generally trying to rank for the uh, subject that you wanna rank for because you're competing with people that are not just in your area. But I will say that a lot of the principles we'll be talking about in this video will apply to national SEO as well as pretty much any other SEO you're going to be doing. Now, if you look at this subject here that we Googled, I just put in a random niche, acupuncture, and then the local keyword, Santa Barbara. We can see the ads here at the top. We can see the map listings below the ads, and then we can see the organic listings. Now, we're going to be talking specifically about ranking in organic. If you want a separate video about how to rank number one in Google Maps, or I think Google Profiles now, they changed the name of it. Uh, I don't know exactly what they uh, changed it to. Uh, business Profile, there it is. So if you wanna learn how to rank your Google Business Profile, let me know by leaving a comment. But uh, if we go through these different listings here, we're gonna pick on just something random, doesn't matter as long as it's not number one. We wanna see why maybe this website isn't ranking and something like Yelp is. So we'll click on this and we'll copy the URL. And I usually start just by plugging the URL into a traffic checker. Now, the reason why I do this is because we want to see what keywords are the most applicable for this website. And the traffic checker will actually tell us which keywords are going to have the highest searches. So all I had to do for this was click on traffic checker and enter URL. So I entered the URL that we found here, just copied it and pasted it. And now we have a bunch of different keywords that this website's ranking for. So if we see here, acupuncturist Santa Barbara, we have 480 searches. Acupuncture Santa Barbara, we also have 480 searcher searches. And set up Santa Barbara acupuncture, we also have 480 searches. So these keywords are all basically identical. It doesn't really matter which one we choose. You can see we have some less search keywords like microneedling, and we also have other things in here like holistic doctors, fertility. Now we wanna go for the highest search keyword for the homepage because the homepage is going to carry the most weight. So we know we wanna go for something like this, acupuncturist Santa Barbara. And in order to audit this website, all we have to do is copy the URL, go to the Shine Audit tool, and then enter the website for analysis. Now, the reason why we wanna figure out the keyword is because part of our audit and part of our analysis is going to have to do with what keywords they wanna rank for. And I'll show you why. So here we can see the home page, the about page, the practitioners pages, all the different pages on the website. And we looks like we have about 30 pages total up here you can see. If we scroll to the right, we can see a pretty quick analysis of all the different issues with the website. Oh, it looks like they loaded more URLs. And if you're not familiar with this tool, you can also click on the Excel button. It'll give you a full printout of everything that the tool found. 
which is great if you're gonna be sending this off to a potential client. Maybe you were wanting to work with this website and you wanted to just send them over a big report of everything that needs to be fixed. But here we go, we got a bunch of different issues in here and what we're gonna see is that with this website, let me just go in here, there are two different sides of the audit. The first side is the analysis that we're gonna get through the tool and then the second is something what I call an eyeball audit. And eyeball audits are important because you're gonna see more uh, issues like design, things that the tool's not gonna to pick up, more opinionated things like, you know, oh, there's not a button here, right? If there's no button, how are they supposed to know how to call? So some of those things you do want to learn. Uh, and I recommend, again, if you haven't grabbed the Christmas special or any of my courses, go grab those Watch the Beginner to Advanced classes, the local classes, you'll get a way a uh, better in-depth analysis of how to do these eyeball audits and really get great at doing the audits. But either way, if I look at this, we can see points of health, Santa Barbara, California. First of all, the title tag doesn't have any keywords in it, right? So if we go to the audit tool, we scroll over, we can see that the keyword that they're ranking for with this page is points of health, where what we would like to rank for is something like acupuncture. If we scroll to the right, we can see the meta description is full, um, which is great, but other things like no contact forms, um, title tag length is fine, except again, there's no none of those keywords that we found in the traffic checker. And the word count here, it says 318, anything above 300 is generally okay, but you usually wanna shoot for more like a 500 to 1000. Uh, there's no H1 tag, uh, there's no H2 tag, whoops, and uh, everything else looks somewhat okay. But if we uh, just think about this from a basic perspective here, points of health, Santa Barbara, California, one of the first things I would change is the thing that Google reads the first and indexes the first, which is the title tag. So I would make sure that the keywords are pulled to the left and they, that they exist in the title tag. So uh, instead of it saying points of health, Santa Barbara, California, it would say our main keyword, which is acupuncturist Santa Barbara. And then I would put some sort of qualifier in there, like give us a call today. Uh, the H tag, the first, head, the first tag that's showing up here, I, I'm guessing it's like an H3 or something. Um, this should also say the same thing as the title tag. So we should have uh, this basically say something along the lines of acupuncturist Santa Barbara, give us a call, and then you would have some sort of call to action button there. Um, going through the uh, uh, eyeball audit, we can see this is a very large image, so people have to scroll before they can get to sort of the next things on the website. The UX is very wonky. So that means the bounce rates are probably gonna be higher on this page because people aren't getting what they want when they go to the page, and that's gonna actually hurt your rankings because the more people who go to your site and then leave, Google's going to uh, assume that your website is low quality. Going into some of these other pages like services, and again, we can see all these in the audit. Uh, a lot of these pages are only one click thin depth, which is great, but you can also see that none of them have Google Analytics. So that's a big issue because that means they're not tracking any of their traffic. And so they're not gonna really be able to see, first of all, what they're, how much traffic they're getting, but also they're gonna have no idea how many people are actually converting into customers when they get here. Um, again, you can see in these other pages, the service pages, first of all, her her Herbal Medicine Santa Barbara, that's great, that's probably a keyword. And we can check that by going to the keyword research tool, typing in Herbal Medicine Santa Barbara. And we can see we found a couple keywords for that. There we go. Oh. Zero monthly searches. So this is another scenario where if there isn't a lot of searches for something, like for instance, if this if this page doesn't have a whole lot of searches or it doesn't have any searches, it might actually be more worth it to combine this into a page that does have searches. So what I found is that with some of the clients that I worked with, for instance, the holistic doctor that I was able to rank, they had uh, all these pages on their services that didn't have any searches. So what we wound up doing is taking those different services and actually putting them on the home page. 
So these were all, a lot of this content here was in different pages. This was all of this, all of this. And so by combining all of this into the home page, instead of having the content on a page that didn't really have any searches, we wound up ranking the home page a lot higher because then we got basically free content. And so you'll see this with a lot of websites is they'll have all these pages that don't really have any purpose. They just kind of exist. And so it's better to combine those into pages that do have a purpose. If we click on micro needling, we did see that was a keyword. But again, if we click here, if we look at the title, it says micro needling, says nothing about the location. So we would want to say something in here like micro needling Santa Barbara, and then some sort of call to action, give us a call today. Scrolling down, we can also see that there's not any links on this website. So it's gonna be very hard to internally, uh, sorry, create relevancy within the website in terms of um, influence being passed. Google assigns relevancy to the pages that are linked to the most. So if you have this page linking to your homepage, or if you have this page linking to another popular service page, Google's going to assume that that page is more important. And so you wanna actually internally link to your different pages. And almost every single page that I optimize on a local level will generally point back to the homepage. So for instance, something like uh, here at Points of Health, we provide blah, 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 microneedling. And then I would link the word Points of Health to the homepage to pass influence. Now all this other stuff looks fine to me. I, I try not to sell things through the website on public pages. I think that is a way to get less leads. A lot of people are not gonna buy the first time they see a website, so it's better to actually internally, or sorry, it, it's better to ask uh, them to give you a call, so that way you can um, talk to them on the phone, get to know them, and then give them a quote. And it just looks like there's certain things in this website that aren't really fully finished. Overall, there's many reasons why this website isn't ranking, and I think it's pretty easy to see that just by looking at it in a couple seconds. Now, the question at the beginning of this video was, why is your website not ranking? Is it because you're not doing things that this website isn't doing as well? Really, the biggest reason why your website isn't ranking is because your keywords are either too competitive for what you're trying to rank for, or you're just not really optimizing your page as well for those keywords. Or you haven't even done any keyword research and you have no idea what you're supposed to be ranking for in the first place. Now, if that's the case, again, I really recommend you go try out this tool. It helps you unlock a lot of these issues and identify why you're not ranking. But more importantly, if you have a few extra bucks, um, I would really recommend you go grab our Christmas special, follow our step-by-step -step courses, grab the tool, join our support group and start asking questions about your different projects and get help. Uh, with your different issues. Um, I could have made this video a lot longer. We could be going a lot deeper into you know, multiple different websites, but that is a quick overview of why your website isn't ranking number one on Google. If you have any questions, please let me know in the, the uh, comment section. But that's it for today. Until I see you all next time, happy SEOing. See ya, bye.